Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is iTalk Fortnite or ITF, the second channel of iTalk Fortnite. And today we're playing some Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Now, it's been a little bit since I've done anything for this channel. And uh, yeah, you guys really wanted me to play the insane version of the Crash games, which I'm okay with. The reason why I played the first one, the original one, was because it's a lot harder than the uh, insane trilogy. But I'll quiet down for the, uh, the, the cutscene. If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we'll need to find an enemy. Crash! Crash! Dad! My battery is fried! Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery um. for me. Alrighty. Now, also, I think I have my music off. For some reason, I do. There we go. So this is Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Arguably the best one out of the three, I'd like to say. Um, I like the third one a lot. The third one has a lot of nostalgia for me. But the third one has a lot of vehicle levels. And I am one that really isn't a fan of vehicle levels in Crash Bandicoot. I like it when it's just pure platforming. So, yeah. We get teleported here. Oh man, I feel so good to play this game. We have about an hour and 15 minutes until the Fortnite item shopper sets, so I thought I'd play this in the meantime, because I did get level 100 in Fortnite already, so I really don't have to play the game that much at all, honestly, but I do have to for gameplay, though. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. There, that, those aren't the doors. Look like this. And the crystals are not well-hidden. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. Those crystals are not hard to find, man. Not even close. So the benefit of playing through the cutscene is that we got we start off with an Aku mask, and I think we have like an extra life. And that's literally it. And different with this game compared to the first one is that they give hints per level, which, I, you know what, I'm not going to lie, I think it's kind of lame. Because, you know, growing up with this game, I never had these hints. You know what I mean? It's whatever, though. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not going to rage against it. But it's just like, you got to remember, man, these games were hard back then. They're a little bit easier now, so... Again, that's why I played the first game in the normal 1996 version and not the updated version. If you guys want me to replay the first game, but with the insane version, let me know. I will totally do it if you guys uh, would like me to. Even though I don't know why I would do that right now, considering it's like the exact same. So, just saying. But, up to you guys. Alright, so you might be noticing something. You might be noticing that we're not grabbing any boxes. And there's actually legitimately good reason for that, because this level has a colored gem that you can get. Now, compared to, like, the first game, remember, like, how in the first game it was, like, oh, if you beat this level without dying and got all the boxes, you got a colored gem? Well, this game's a little bit different. They do have colored gems again, but they're not the exact same as they were back then. So in this game, there's a few different ways of getting colored gems. And in this game, the blue gem is unlocked by not breaking any single boxes on the first level. There's nothing that really tells you about that, like back, like, 
back then, there wasn't really anything that said, hey, don't break any of the boxes. I, maybe the manual said that, maybe, I don't know. I think, I, I do have a physical version of Crash 2 on the PS1, so maybe, I, I'll check if there's a manual for it, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, that's what you have to get for the blue gem, and then we access all the uh, blue gem paths. Pretty much the exact same way it was handled in the original. Alrighty. But I will say, the graphics on this game are absolutely... I really thought... I really... Oh my god, I have to go all the way back. I really thought I, I landed on him, but I did not. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, I'm always excited for the uh, the Fortnite item shop to reset, but I just had, I genuinely had nothing to do. I'm like, you know what? Well, I have nothing to do, but I don't really feel like playing Fortnite at the moment. Let's play other games. Is that an airplane? I think there's like an airplane, like... Oh, yeah. I, that's an airplane. You'll, you'll probably hear that over the mic. Have an airplane over us. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Got a lot done today. I'm not gonna lie, when I was trying to get level 100 really fast, it kind of took away from a lot of, like, my usual... usual things I like to do. Like, I used to like to go outside, but then, uh... I kind of, like, forced myself to stay home and just grind out Fortnite all day to get level 100. Because it's just one of those things, like, I, I, I told myself, hey, I'm gonna get level 100 in Fortnite this, e this season. Been saying that for the past four, like, five seasons. Never did it until now. So did I rush it? Absolutely. But I don't really have many regrets of it. It was fun. Team Rumble, man. Team Rumble. 16-man open mic lobbies. Insanity, dude. That was totally my fault. Oh, we got achievement. So yeah, we'll probably play like an hour of this and then I gotta do the item shop, so. Yeah. And today's Friday, May. May 31st of 2019. And I'm very excited because uh, I just ordered a, uh, a pool membership. There's like this, ex it's not, I, I guess you could call it exclusive. Like there's like this exclusive pool in my area and it's really, really fun, but I don't know, I just never had the money for it, really, because it is really, it's not, I keep saying the word exclusive, because it's like, oh, well, I talk for and I like his exclusive skins, no wonder he likes exclusive pool clubs, because, yeah, exclusive pool clubs, am I right? <laughs> I also wanted to mention a few things here, so, you may have noticed when we got the blue gem, we killed ourselves, the reason why we do that is because we still have to get the, the normal box gem, so what I do is I just, um, I die, so we start from the beginning because I didn't hit any checkpoint boxes. So that way we got everything in one fall swoop. And also, there's like those rat pits we were in. If you do a glitched high jump, you could just get out of them without having to deal with them. So, yeah. So yeah, so I think the plan is after I'm done this first part of Crash 2... I'll go do item shop, and then I'm probably going to record tomorrow's video and just be at the pool all day tomorrow, just so I have that. Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. The crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring Why does Crash's fingers look like Cheetos? Are you there, Crash? 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 Are you there, Crash? Are you there, Crash? Alrighty, snow go. Alright, this level gives us the bread gem for discovering a secret route. However, I don't know if I could do this the glitched high jump way. I think I might. Not actually, no, no, I can't. I can't. There's a speedrun strat with this game where uh, you would, uh, whatchamacallit, you could do like a glitch tie jump and then do a belly flop and get the gem. I'm pretty sure they made the gem unable to be obtained that way from this game. 
Oh yeah, this game also introduces nitro crates compared to the first game. So nitro crates, nitro crates, you can't touch, you can't even, I wouldn't even recommend looking at them. Nitro crates will uh, blow up as soon as you touch them. So yes, they're more fragile than TNTs. TNTs, you can still jump on them, bounce on them, all that good stuff. But nitros, you can't touch. And you're probably wondering, well, how are we supposed to get those boxes? Because they are boxes. Well, at the end of every stage that includes nitro crates, they will have a little uh, little thing for you to, to bop and it'll just detonate them all. Which doesn't really make much sense, but then again, this is Crash Bandicoot we're talking about here. Yeah, they hit the gem. It was all the way up top there. Yeah, see, so you can kind of see it there. I was over it. Guess not. But yeah, I was at my local game shop today. And I was kind of waiting around because there's like this older gentleman there. And they use like five gift cards to buy like a ton of games and stuff like that. I'm like, oh my god. I found that kind of funny. But it was like, oh my god. So, to... I, I didn't want to like be like, hey, I'm ready, because they, they were like counting the money, like, okay, there's this much on this card, there's this much on this card, and your total comes out to this, and it's like, so I just chilled out, hung around the place, and I know a lot of people don't like GameStop, but the thing is, is with my, at least my GameStop, my GameStop's dope, like, they're actually really cool people that work there, not every GameStop, I just missed the crystal, not every uh, GameStop is complete garbage, so... If you have a good GameStop and they treat you right, man, you treat them right, right back, dude. Alright, so you have to hit that box up there to get these two to activate. Booyah, Grandma. Woohoo! Alright. Very excited for Nitro Fueled, by the way. We'll be picking that up and we'll be playing it first day on the channel. I have so many other games that I, we're going to be doing a lot of Let's Plays on this channel. I'm just telling you that right now. So if you guys like old school PS1, PS2, PS3, even PS4 games, you'll I think you'll enjoy the channel. It's going to be a wide variety of games though. So, yeah. All right, I think Brio's going to talk to us with his pill-shaped head. Yeah, he like gets off the gems for some reason. Well, Crash, <laughs> know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must g gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to Focus a laser! Ah, yes, a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he has created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crystals. <laughs> now, the only thing I don't like about that cutscene is he basically tells you to not grab crystals, but you need crystals to keep going. So it's kind of like one of those things, it's like, why would you tell the player to not get the crystals? I know you said... Well, I know he has to say, like, you know, get the gems so you get the alternate ending to beat Cortex, but, like, if kids believe that, it's like, well, all right, I will make sure not to ever grab the crystals again. And then Cortex will be like, no, you, you grab the crystals. All right, so we have a mask here, which is pretty dope, but we're going to lose it right away because we have a new uh, little thing here, the jet ski, which jet ski's cool. I said I don't like my Crash games to have uh, vehicles in it, but in this game, they're really not that bad. Besides maybe the jetpack. I hate the jetpack. The jetpack's pretty garbo. Oh, yeah, there's also a timer as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to beat the timer. So we're going to be skipping the bonus. We're going to be skipping the gem. The gem path. We're going to skip that checkpoint box as well. Because we're trying to get all the way until the end to beat the time to get a uh, special gem. Which, by the way, you can get special gems that aren't colored in this game. So, like, what we did for the blue gem, that could have been a normal gem. But they gave us a colored one. And now we're going to uh, jump in the water. 
just so we can do everything over again. Alrighty. Oh boy. Alright, we're good. We good. Okay, blue gem path. Now these gem paths are very difficult. They're not like the normal games where it's just like, oh, it's just some extra crates. This is like, no, the level gets really serious now. But luckily with my glitch tie jump, I can kind of get through these pretty easily. And by the way, if you guys are curious, I am using an Xbox controller, an Xbox 360 controller attached to my uh, computer. There you go. But yeah, I can't get over how beautiful this game looks. Hopefully Spire of the Dragon comes out on PC soon. I really want to play that game for the channel, but I want to play the PC version. I have the PS4 version, barely even played it, and I'll tell you why right now. The reason why I didn't play much of the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, even though I was extremely excited for it, is it had tons of motion blur, and it would make me actually feel, feel literally ill. So I'm like, I can't play this game. I can't until they give us an option to remove it. And then I think about a month ago, they actually gave us the option to remove the motion blur, which is dope. So I will not be playing that game through my PS4 because I am not... Uh, we don't have it on PC yet. I would rather it on PC, but if I have to record gameplay from a console, I don't mind. I just have to get a new, I have to get another monitor for my, uh, for my setup because, uh, recording gameplay from my console is a pain in the ass. And that's only because of where my consoles are. It's where my TV is and moving my microphone and all of that is going to be such a pain. So. I'd rather just get like a small monitor on like the left side of my computer setup. And then it'll work out a lot more. Another cutscene. My god, there's so many in the beginning. Three crystals. Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Alright. Go to the pits. Alrighty. This game is really fun, man. I gotta remember not to miss the item shop, but I have a I have my phone here. And my phone goes off 30 minutes before the shop and 10 minutes before the shop just to make sure I never miss it. And so far I've never missed an item shop since I started, which was all the way back in October. So that's pretty cool. Actually, was it October or was it September? I don't even remember. I feel like it was September. Coming up on, almost, oh, ow. Almost coming up on a whole year of item shops, man. Pretty insane. And I'm pretty happy with how well those videos do, honestly. It was mainly just for me to catalog them because I was always interested in like, knowing what comes out on what day and what my thoughts were on it. But then it turns out people li also like that. Oh, I think I have to go left first. This has a br uh, branching path. Actually, I think you have to backtrack in this level. Yeah, I think you do. And he's got a checkpoint here. And I really probably should have killed like all the enemies here. There we go. And I think this is everything. Yeah, it's everything. So now I ha you literally have to backtrack now. That's kind of dumb. It's not that it's dumb, but it's like... You can barely see what's in front of you. And the fact that I didn't kill every enemy is kind of a bad thing, because... I'm going to get hit by something I wasn't going to... 
know is going to be there. So far, I'm doing all right. Oh my god, I almost jumped in that hole. I almost fell in that hole. All right, we're good. I think the cool thing, I think there's a uh, checkpoint box near here. Yep. Cool. No more backtracking for us. These are the boxes that activated um, when we hit the metal crate. Okay. Now, oh, here's the checkpoint box I was talking about. All right, so now we don't have to worry about the backtracking. Just get out of that. We don't even have to worry about it. Can I, like, hit that? Oh, my God. There you go. Man, I'm really excited for the summer, man. You have no idea, dude. You have no idea, dude. It's going to be so much fun, man. Probably going to be chilling at my pool, my exclusive pool club for a good bit. Probably every day I'm probably going to go there because they charge a lot, but if you go there every day, it's totally worth it. Ah, glitched high jump saved the day there. Boosh. All right. It's just kind of weird because like, you know, I do, I, I do the item shop thing, which you know, a lot. I, I, again, I've heard people say this, but it's like, oh wow, like, am I really gonna complain about doing the item shop every day? Not necessarily, but it's like I have to be home. I have to be home every night before the shopper sets for YouTube, which again, I know it's part of my job, and I'm totally cool with it. But it's like, you got, you gotta plan everything around the item shop, which is so bizarre, but it's true. I have to. If I want to go out to the beach one day, if I want to go to the boardwalk one day during the summer, which I totally plan on doing, I have I have to do it in the morning. I have to go in the morning, and then I'll come back at around nighttime. That's just that's just how it is. And again, I'm okay with it. It's just it's just kind of annoying. <laughs> I can't pre-record it because the shopper sets for everyone at the same exact time. Which again, it's whatever. Oh yeah, uh, in terms of item shop predictions, I'm expecting we're getting a new emote today because today's Friday. And usually how the item shops work is that we get a new skin set every Thursday and Saturday. And then they throw in like a new emote for us, sometimes on the same day as a new skin coming out, but also on the same day as like, maybe on like, Friday and Sunday they like to do that as well. But that's just me. You have to wait and see. And there's a few emotes out there, man, that I'm really, really looking forward to. I almost fell in that hole there. Uh, my, my number one emote I'm looking forward to is the guitar walk. Because my favorite emote of all time is rock out. So obviously any, any emotes that incorporate music or rock or a guitar in it is great. So, yeah. Alrighty. Okay. That was really clean. Good, good, good. Oh, I hate this. I probably just screwed up that box right there. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. Boosh. Sorry if you heard any noise in the background, by the way. Apologies for that. I have my door open. It's getting kind of hot, man. And uh, my room doesn't really have good ventilation, which really sucks, which means I have to keep my room open. So, yeah. Do -do 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 -do. These mines, by the way, they don't, uh, they don't kill you. They just immobilize you for the boulder to squish you. So, they're really not... If I... I... That was a bad jump by me. <laughs> there we 
we go. That was good. That was good. That was good. So I'm curious to know, uh, are you guys still in school? Or are you guys wrapping up for the summer? Just curious. My brother just got is getting done high school in about how long? I think he's getting done high school. No, high school, middle school. He's still in middle school. He's going to be getting done. I don't even know. I don't even know when. I think it's in like two weeks. I don't know. My, my, my last day of school was always around like June 14th. And I don't know why. Like why that day. But yeah. Uh, Cortex didn't talk to us, so... I, I didn't skip the cutscene, so we're facing our first boss here, which is Ripper Roo, which you remember from the second game. Alright. Pretty simple boss. Oh, I forgot he has to do the nitro. I totally forgot. I try to get on top of his head. Very, very simple boss here. The safe spot is right here. No, it's not. Okay, I stood on the worst spot possible. Well, all right. Ah, uh, that was the, the out of all the spots I could have picked. I thought that was it. Might have been right here. I don't know. It's pretty. I think it's the exact same as the original game. hate when I'm like one hit away from killing a boss and then I die. Alright. Yeah, Crash Nitro Cart, very excited for it. Nitro Fueled, rather. Very, very excited for it. Alright, maybe it's right here. I stay safe here. Got him. <sighs> Easy boss. I just screwed up the one time. That was my fault. Should we just leave him dead on there on the on the ground? It's kind of sad. Alright. Alright, I have about 45 minutes until shop. We'll make we'll I think I might be able to finish the uh Well, actually now I think about it, I might not be able to finish up the second warp room. We'll see. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. <laughs> there are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however. The crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise, Crash. I, I can't keep the data path open much longer. Crash, you need to find... Oh, Coco, hush up. Sorry, I have to do this for the extra lives and the achievement. There we go. 
Yep, got the trophy. Uh, might as well save here. Uh, save. Cool. Alright. Snowbiz, hell yeah. And today, actually in today's video, which, you know, now that I think about it, I don't even know when this video is going to go up. Am I really going to put this out at like 9 at night? On a Friday? You bet your ass I'm going to do that. That seal went right through that penguin. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. This level has a lot of boxes in it, my god. Oh, stupid porcupine. Yeah, we do need the red gem for some of the boxes. So I think we can only get the crystal here. I think. And I got really, really, really lucky with that one. Oh, God. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, I was an overshot. I was I was focusing way too hard on something that wasn't uh like I'm not gonna lie to you right now. All my one one of my monitors while I'm playing this game. I have a video up called Badlands Does the Big Smoke Drive Through Order and just seeing this guy look exactly like the guy Oh my god. Look like the guy from GTA ordering the, the big smoke order. It's really funny to me, and I don't know why I'm looking at it, but it's like, oh my, it's like in the corner of my eye, and I'm like, why am I watching this? Or why am I looking at this? Oh god. Oh! I wouldn't let me slide. It wouldn't let me slide. Slide. Bullshit. See... What am I so Okay, I know what I'm supposed to do here. I I'm tr I'm trying to go too happy with it. So I'm just supposed to run, walk. Yes, there we go. That's what I was doing wrong. Blow all that up. Thank you. 18 out of 18. We good. Yeah, so for item shops, I think we're getting Guitar Walk today. I think the other leaked emote we haven't gotten yet is the, the Woe, which, like, I get it's a meme, but, like, the Woe is kind of dumb. But hey, you know what? I feel like that that um, the day that the woe comes out, that video will do pretty well. I like to look at like my video analytics for like specific item shops, and particularly the ones that get the most attention are usually ones where it's a new emo, which is pretty surprising. I thought like new skin sets would would uh, surprise people, but at the same time, you got to remember if the skins aren't leaked, they're not really a surprise anymore. So if if they were leaked, like all these ones are. People are expecting these new skins to come out, so it's like, oh, the, this new skin came out. It's like, eh, okay. It's, but I, don't get me wrong. All the all the videos do extremely well, regardless of even what's even in the shop. So, like I said, I cannot complain about that. It's just a little thing I noticed. People care a, a lot about new emotes. So, cool. Something I didn't know. But I seriously think the item shop needs something to change because the way the item shop is right now, there's way too much, like, items in the item shop. I guess you could say rotation. And it's got me thinking, like, you know, are they ever going to, like, are they ever going to, like, make it bigger for us or anything? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Mm-hmm. 
This is a secret death platform in this level, I know it. So, there's, yeah, there's things in this game called a, a death platform is where you can't die in a level still. And it act, and if you don't die, it activates a, uh, a portal. Or it activates like a alternate route. Which is pretty, wow, I can't believe I fell. Um, which is pretty cool. But at the same time, it also makes some of the levels a little bit difficult. This one has one, but if you die in the bonus, I'm that does not count. It doesn't, because it, you're not losing a life here. Oh, I'm, I'm getting too cocky with this. I don't have to, I don't have to activate those boxes. I could just hop over them. There we go. Okay, that's also a new box. Oh my god, that's also a new box where you have to belly slam. I forgot. There's a lot of things different with this game compared to Crash One. Cause Crash One, you can only spin and jump. In this game, you can spin, jump, slide. I'm just gonna play it safe. Screw it. Just kidding. Slide, belly slam. I. Why did I not just land on the thing? Why did I go for that? I don't know. I'm not a smart individual, okay? I'm not. Oh, by the way, guys, just just randomly thought of this. The Plants vs. Zombies playthrough will 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 be finished soon. The, the, the game's not... The, the game's almost done. I almost beat it, so... Whee! That was amazing. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking about the stupid exclusive pool. Cause that's like a running joke with me and my friends. It's like, yo, got an OG Skull Trooper, OG exclusive. <laughs> it's just stupid. It's stupid. We I lo we love poking fun at like players that take like OG status very seriously. Just cause, to me, it, it, it's just all right. If you oh by the way, if you die on like paths like this, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. Once you step on the plate, once you step on the, all right. Once you step on the death platform, it doesn't go away. So I just died there. It, yep, still there. Cool, cool, cool. We, we just find it so funny. Like I said, it, not every original player acts the way that OG players do. But when the vocal minority scream at me on Twitter saying like, Oh, you hate us and you're you're such a shit. That's just, it just makes me giggle. I'm like, bro, I, I really, you, you're really going to take it that seriously? It's just a little poking fun. And like I said, there's just way too many ways to fake it. So it's like, why even bother caring about it that much? All right, we gotta get the gem here and then we gotta, we gotta die because the level's still not over yet. I just went up that rhino's, not rhino, that hip, hippopotamus's ass. Not what I was expecting to do today. On a Friday. Oh, I remember this. You gotta like slide jump. But again, really hard to see from behind you, so. Getting back is kind of a small issue if you have no idea how to do it. That's okay. Oh, what the hell? Where's the, uh... Did I miss a box? I missed a nitro crate. I don't know where that went. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that again. I had to have missed it. The, the green nitro crates that like blow up all the other nitros can kind of look a little similar so maybe I totally missed it. I'm gonna look at it with my eyes this time. I don't see it. I'm kind of confused. 
Okay, never mind. I don't, I don't know where it is. I must have missed it somewhere earlier than that, but I can't go any more back. Uh, feels bad. Hmm. Oh, wait. I think I remember. I think I know exactly where it is. I'm tempted to go back. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go back. Sorry. Let's just go back. I think I know where it is. It's in the death death platform thing, I think. But at the same time, is Hmm. Yeah, you can also get relics in this game, which is kind of dumb. I'm not going to lie. I really don't like the relics, but I'm trying to find, figure out where is the thing to blow up the, the nitros at? I don't know how I missed it, honestly. Oh, you know what? Really quickly. I missed that. There's a platform right there we could step on for like a secret level. Let me let me try that really quick because I forgot exactly where that actually takes you. There we go. I think it takes you out of the game. Yeah, it does. It takes you out of the level. All right. We'll go back to it later then. Oh, this is where we get the red gem. How neat. How wonderful. Oh, boy. About 34 minutes until shop. Yeet. Oh, my lord. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay. So, this is where we get the red gem for Snowgo. Yeah, so this is basically like a little hidden level. How do I get that? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Slow down, slow down, come on. There we go. Got it. Oh boy. Okay, okay. This is so convoluted. Look at all that wampa fruit, my lord. Oh sweet, I got all the masks, I didn't even notice. Well this will be a lot easier then. You see, they want you to do all this without the masks. Got the red gem. And since we have the normal gem already, since that was only filled with nitros, we could just leave the level and uh, head on out. Got the red gem. Hell yeah. Alright. Okay, I'm trying to remember. Is the eel deal in this? No, no, it's in the third warp. Arby. Oh no, the eel No, wait a minute. The eel deal is here. Oh my god, I love this level. Eel Deal's phenomenal, and I also love the music behind it, even though, at the same time, you see this hint pisses me off, because it just gives it away. But yeah, my phone's about to go off because of uh, shop, so I'm going to have to stop that. Yep, there goes my phone. Boop, got it. But yeah, I love, I love, oh. I love the setting to this level, it's great. So yeah, that's the secret. There's a bunch of nitros in one room. And there's a wall there that 
is just there. And you can actually walk through it. Green gem. Kill me, please. There we go. Alright. We have to do that because... Why, why are we doing that? Because we have to we have to keep going with the level. There's no other there's no like good way to go back. Oh but yeah, but you also have to break this box because when you hit the box that breaks all the nitros and they all explode, that box does not get broken. I don't know how and I don't know why it works like that, but it just does. Checkpoint. And a bonus stage. Yeah. Uh what? Okay, I was just hovering over it. That was pretty cool. Don't get me wrong, I like the remixes, but I would like an option to play with the original music. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Cause like Spyro already lets us do that, so why not with this game, huh? 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 Why not, huh? I don't know. Swamper Fruit looks so good, dude. These things look terrifying, dude. Cool. Alrighty, going well very smoothly. So exhausted, man. When you're outside in the heat, man, it just drains the energy out of it. You don't even have to be doing anything. <sighs> oh, wait. Can I play as Coco? Yeah, I can. I'll run Coco for a little bit. That's all I'll save really quick. Uh, Crash Crush. Let's do it. Sliding can help you avoid dangerous obstacles. Really? That's pretty cool. That's news to me. Alrighty. So Coco plays exactly like how Crash does, which is cool. Because in some older games... They made Coco in the game, and she did worse than what Crash does, which is kind of weird for them to do that. Little direction here we have to go. I remember as a kid this was really difficult. Because it looked kind of confusing. But all you do is just do slide, then jump. That's it. Just 
concentrating, just concentrating. Oops. Alrighty. I think this is the last boulder, I think. Oh yeah. 100%. That boulder should break that. It did, cool. Oh, this part was mad annoying. You have to belly slam that one. Break, break, break. Alright, cool. Very easy. It's so fun, man. If you've not played a single Crash Bandicoot game in your life, you're really missing out, man. I'm pretty sure, Cra yeah, Crash has to play this level. They didn't program Coco for this kind of stage. It's kind of bizarre, but whatever. I actually like this level. This level's cool. I missed a box. Well, alright. Can't go pa backwards on these things. So if I miss it, I gotta start over. Oh my god, that was such a screw up on my part. And these live TNTs going off. Thought I missed that box, but no, I hit it. Stay in the middle, just stay in the middle. There you go. Jump, jump, jump. Okay. That was always hard to do on the normal PlayStation 1 version, but I think they put the boxes together closer, which is nice. Give me that gem, there we go. Cool. Alright, just about 21 minutes. 21 minutes till Chope. Just punched my desk by complete accident. That kind of hurt. So communication from this point will be difficult. Remember, I'm counting on you. Okay. Actually, how does this work for the game considering um, Coco is literally trying to talk to Crash? How is she even able to be played? In this game, I don't know if that works. Direct attacks don't hurt them. Thanks for the hint. So this is the Komodo Bros. Very simple fight. Very 
crazy. Easy. Alrighty. So we did. We were able to beat the second uh, second stage before shop. Cool. Up. Uh, no, that's down. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, cutscene. The hell was that? Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your metal. But now's not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. Damn. Plant food. So plant food kind of works the same way as air crash does where you have to like beat the timer and uh, this one's a lot more harder though a lot more harder is that even a phrase a lot more harder I spun I, I pressed spin but maybe it didn't work Damn. Nah, I feel like my spin didn't come out there. Whoop. Alright, go, 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 go. Alright. Alright, alright. I think I lost. Oh, no, 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 I didn't. I thought I lost my chance to get it. Damn it. Thank God they give you multiple chances because in the original they don't do that. What are you supposed to do? They're so close together. There we go. I'm gonna be ignoring boxes for the most part because it doesn't really matter when you're racing for the time. You're not trying to 100% the level while you're doing that. Which means I'm also gonna ignore the checkpoint box. Because we still have to finish this level. Did that piranha plant hit me? I call it bullshit. So here you actually have to take a hit. Which is kind of dumb, honestly. Whatever. There's the gold gem. But now we have to die. Because uh, we have to finish the level by breaking all the boxes. Oh my... Mm. I'm getting... I used to not be this bad the game, but it's been a while, so maybe that's why.
I mean, I guess you technically don't need a mask if you do that, but what I'm saying is that, like, to get the time beaten, you have to go through it like that, which is kind of dumb. And you you have to sacrifice a mask. That's what I was, that's what I was talking about. How am I missing boxes? Oh, I know how I'm missing boxes. Whoops. I forgot to go on the, uh, I forgot to do the bonus stage. I totally forgot about it. Oh, man. Wow. Well, there's definitely going to be some backtracking in the next episode. I can guarantee you that. All right, I think I have enough time for one more level, then I got to get ready for shop. Sewer later, bear down, road to road to ruin. And unbearable. Unbearable is kind of a hard stage, so this might give me... I might not have a whole lot of time to complete this. I don't know why I picked this one. I should have picked a safe one. Alrighty. This level's kind of tough. Because I believe this is how you get the purple gem. I could be wrong. No, no, I am wrong. There's a secret... There's a secret uh, gem you get. Oh god, that bear. Oh, man. Oh, God. That poor bear. Oh, never mind. There's another one just waiting for me. Or maybe it was the other level that I thought was hard. Maybe this one isn't as difficult as I thought. I don't remember. You have to go down here. Oh, this level sucks. I... Wow. Okay, that really sucks that I died there. I'm going to tell you why right now. This part is actually really difficult. And I really wish I had my two masks with me. But because I, I died, I lost them all. So that kind of sucks. I will, we'll make it work. These bullets. Come on, come on. Okay. Uh oh, wait a minute. I was supposed to get up there, and I, I broke the box. Well, I gotta kill myself, and I, I screwed that up. My fault. Don't break that box. I don't know how I avoided that hit there, but I'll take it. All right, cool. We actually got that part done. There's my phone going off again. Oh, I hear your phone. Playing that OG music, I hear. God, I miss that music, man. It was so good.
Wow, I can't believe I got that slide off. Oh god, I remember this part. Oh my god. This is so funny. Did I miss one box? I did not. Okay, cool. So, hold on, guys. There's another secret here. Come back to the polar bear, and then there you go. Another secret? What? What is this? Another secret? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, no way am I getting totally bear done before the shop, so I'm going to leave it at that. No cutscene, maybe? Let's see. Oh, no, I got a cutscene. Crash, thank goodness! I hacked into Cortex's computer and found detailed schematics for an improved Cortex Vortex and a suspicious-looking space station. I'm not sure, but Cortex might be trying to... Oh, okay. Alrighty. Let's save it. I don't want to... No, don't load. Save. There you go. Alright, guys. So, that'll be part one of Crash 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Doing the old school... Or, not the old school version. We're doing the uh, Insane Trilogy version. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And I will be back probably with another video sometime soon. So, thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you all later. See ya.